of the peppers. I love sriracha. Yeah, I need to get it on the shelves. Okay, well, two weeks after its premiere, Top Gun Maverick still the number one movie at the box office. Now, since its release, it has brought in more than $599 million worldwide, and it's leaving audiences feeling the need for speed and life in the danger zone. So, 20 years ago, right there, Aww. I got to fly with the Oregon Air National Guard and their F 15 pilots who patrol our skies from Canada to California, and I got to experience the extreme G forces you saw in the movie. Well, this week I went back to the Portland Air Base and talked with these two pilots about what they thought of the new Top Gun movie, and we chased down a rumor that one of them was actually in the movie. Still walk around here? Major Brandon Wigden, call sign Wiggles, and Captain Alan Gang Green do this for a living every day. Over the mountains and through the valleys of the Northwest, training for a foreign or terrorist threat. Serious business. Having any fun yet? But when it comes to entertainment and watching the new Top Gun. Awesome, it was a great movie. And I was like, wow, this, this is pretty good. About as realistic as you could get probably without actually giving away all of our tactics. So th there are moments, obviously in any film, especially with aviation, that you're like, we wouldn't do that. The only inaccuracies that you could probably see that I could really point out are the ones where they're, you know, buzzing by each other, you know, a couple of feet away from each other. I was curious about a pivotal part of the movie, which we won't spoil by showing. A scene that left me wondering whether physics allow for a plane and pilot to actually do what was on the screen. A scene that was shot in the mountains of the Northwest. That route is literally northeast from here. We fly that same route, and that scene, uh, one of my buddies is actually the one that flew it, so yes, it is possible, and that's what he actually flew. There's a rumor that maybe you did something in this movie. Is that true? Okay, so this is the reason why I'm here. <laughs> okay, so I was stationed a little more for the Navy. I was flying Super Hornets at the time, and so I flew a couple of the scenes. I don't know if my scenes made it, uh, but I was chased by the the jet that had all the cameras on it, and it was it was a pretty awesome experience. Major Wigden flew F-18s in the Navy, which are the jets in the new Top Gun movie. The pandemic delayed the release of the film so long, in that span, Wigden started a new life in the Northwest, switching to the Air National Guard and the bigger F-15s, before Top Gun Maverick made it to the big screen. They told us what the scenes to fly, went out there and flew them, and then got to come back and actually watch all the footage that was uh, taken, and it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Because sometimes when you're in the jet, you know, you're, as you know, you f flew in the back of them. It's a lot of Gs, it's a lot of strain on the body, and so, but to actually see it from the outside, you're like, wow, that, that, that's more awesome than it felt while I was doing it, but it's pretty cool. Is he Hollywooding all you guys? Is he walking around here? Like... Oh yeah, he's he's been walking around here like he's the big man on campus reminding us about how he's been in Top Gun this whole time. No, I'm just kidding. No, he's actually pretty humble about it. Uh, didn't really want anybody to know, or I'm not saying didn't want anybody to know, but it's part of the job. Um, we had kind of squeezed it out of him that he was actually part of the film. I didn't get to meet Tom Cruise, no. He was sitting across the table from me, and I was pretty impressed with how he carries himself on set. Is this a better plane than the F-18? No, I'm not supposed to answer this question. <laughs> the answer is, I can't answer that question. I'll answer it um, how we answer everything in the fighter pilot world. It depends. It, probably, it depends on the mission. When the original Top Gun movie came out in 1986, Major Wigden was three years old. Captain Green wasn't born yet. Both now part of the latest generation of pilots pushing the limits. It's really cool to be able to a movie being shown what you do every day. Um, that way you don't have to explain it to people all the time. He's like, hey, I do what Top Gun does. Uh, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, uh, so if you got a copy of the movie, could right. you pause it and, and figure like, out tell, if that was yes. you? And he, he, he says he thinks so, but things go by so yeah. fast. Yeah. He can't be sure. That was really cool. They were great, and we had, we had a lot of fun with them. Oh, look appreciate. at that! Look at that right there. I, Top Gun took <laughs> Hot Dog Hansen. Yes. I came up. I came up with that. I I, I came up with Top Gun Tilkin. Oh, did you really? Yes. I didn't know. I, <laughs> Woo! 
Secrets. All right. <laughs> Thanks to our producer, Miranda. But good story. That was really, that was cool. Yeah, we appreciate them uh, letting us go out there. Yes. They're, Wiggles. Wiggles. I like, I like his name as well. Yeah. All right. A new study published in Science.